Welcome to homecampus.com.sg. In this lesson, I'll show you how to multiply fractions. So let's say we start with our pizzas as usual. Okay, so what I have is I've got this one pizza, all right? I have this one pizza and what I do with this pizza is I give half of this pizza to you. So what I do is I slice up this pizza into two halves, okay? And I give one half of this pizza, which I'm shading in yellow, to you. So you have this half pizza and then what you do is you take this half pizza, your slice, okay, your half pizza and you give half of that to your friend Annie. So what you do is you half this pizza, okay, you make this pizza into half and you give this half over here, okay, that I'm shading in uh, red. What you do is you give half of your slice to any so you give this shaded portion over here this shaded portion in red to any so what Annie has got is okay actually before that let me extend this line over here okay so what I do is I just extend this half line to the other side of the pizza as well okay so what you do is you had half the pizza okay you had half the pizza this yellow slice and you gave half of that half to any so you gave half of half to Annie. So Annie had so Annie had this red slice over here, okay? Now if you look at this red slice over here, how much portion of this entire pizza is this red slice? Now if you look carefully, you'll see that this pizza is actually cut into four pieces, right? So here is piece number one, okay? This is piece number one, this is piece number two, this is piece number three, and this is piece number four. So this pizza is actually cut into four pieces. And this slice over here, okay, this slice over here is actually nothing but one out of those four slices, right? One out of those four pieces. So this red slice over here represents the fraction one out of four of the entire pizza. So this slice over here, which is half of half, is nothing but equal to one quarter or one fourth or one upon four of the entire pizza. So half of half is nothing but one upon four. Now, if you have to write this down in a mathematical statement, what you would do is half of half is nothing but half times half. So half of half is half multiplied by half, okay? And when you want to multiply fractions, what you do is you multiply the numerators with each other and then you multiply the denominators with each other. So what you do is actually something like this. You do one times one, okay, which are the numerators. So you do one times one and then you do two times two. So you do two times two, which are the denominators. And what you get from here is one times one is what? Nothing but one. So one times one is one and two times two is four. So your half times half is nothing but one fourth or one quarter which is exactly the same as this guy over here from the pizza. So half of half which is equal to half times half or half multiplied by half is nothing but the numerators multiplied by each other upon the denominators multiplied by each other and that gives you one fourth or one quarter or one upon four which is the same as one out of the four slices of the pizza. All right, let me take another example, okay? So what I do is I get rid of all this and I take another example, okay? So let's say that what I want to do is I want to find out what is two-third of three-fifth, okay? I want to find out what is two-third of three-fifth which in other words is two-third times three-fifth okay it's two-thirds times three-fifths or two-thirds multiplied by three-fifths okay so let's use some visual aid okay so what I do is I make a rectangle okay let me make a rectangle and on it I'm going to mark these two numbers two-thirds and three-fifths okay so what I do is I take this rectangle and what I want to first mark on it is three-fifths okay so I mark three-fifths on this so I cut up this rectangle into five equal sized parts. So I have five equal sized parts on this rectangle, okay? Now let's try to put three-fifth on this. So three-fifth would be three out of those five rectangles, right? Because it's three out of five, three upon five. So three out of those five rectangles is three-fifths. Now next what we want to find out is what is two-thirds of three-fifths. So what we do is we cut up this entire rectangle three times. 
horizontally this time okay so we cut up this entire rectangle three times now what we want to do is we want to mark two-thirds of three-fifths now three-fifths is only this red colored area right so when we want to mark two-thirds on it we must mark only on the red colored area so red colored area means this guy over here okay so this is your three-fifths this area that I'm outlining in red, okay, this is your three-fifth. Now you want to mark two-thirds of this three-fifth. So two-thirds is obviously nothing but two of these, right? Because this is cut into three parts. So two out of those three parts is two-thirds, right? So this is, the top is one part. This is one part over here. Okay, this is one part. And this is the second part. So these are together two parts. So this entire thing, this entire thing was three fifth. Okay. This was three fifth. And this yellow colored part is two thirds of three fifths. So this is two thirds of three fifths. Now, what we are interested in finding out is how much of this entire bigger rectangle okay this whole white rectangle is this portion this yellow portion okay so what we want to find out is how much of this entire white thing is this yellow portion so let's count all the little rectangles so how many have we got we've got one two three four five six seven eight nine ten 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15. So we've got 15 rectangles in all. But how many of them are yellow? Well, the ones that are yellow are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. So 6 of them are yellow. So out of a total of 15, the yellow ones are only 6. So there you go. Your 2 thirds of 3 fifths, which is this yellow portion, is equal to 6 out of 15 or 6 15th or 6 upon 15. Now let's do it mathematically, okay? So what we have is 2 thirds times 3 fifths, right? So we have 2 thirds multiplied by 3 fifths. And we said earlier that what you do is you multiply the numerators and then you multiply the denominators, okay? So you multiply the numerators by each other. So 2 times 3 is 6, okay? And 3 times 5 is 15. And this 6 upon 15 is the same as this 6 upon 15. So there you go. That's all you have to do. When you want to do multiplication of fractions, all you do is you multiply the numerators by each other and then you multiply the denominators by each other and you get the answer 6 upon 15. And after you found out 6 upon 15, there's another thing that you must look for. What you must also look for is whether it can be simplified further. So simplification means if it can be reduced further, okay? Now we know that 6 and 15 are both divisible by 3. So let's divide both 6 and 15 by 3. So if you divide 6 by 3, what do you get? You get 2. And if you divide 15 by 3, what you get is get 5. So what that means is this fraction 6 15 can be reduced or simplified to 2 fifths. So your final answer after simplification is 2 fifths, okay? Now, if you're not sure how to simplify fractions, then do watch my other video in which I've talked about GCF or greatest common factor, all right? So that's how you multiply fractions, whether they are proper fractions or improper fractions or whatever fractions. Actually, while we are at it, why don't I also show you how to multiply improper fractions? So let's take, for example, these two improper fractions, say 10 thirds times, say... 6 fifths. Okay, so what we have is 10 upon 3 multiplied by 6 upon 5. And these are both improper fractions, right? Because their denominators are smaller than their numerators. Okay. Now you follow the same steps as above. What you do is you multiply the numerators by each other first. Okay, so you multiply 10 and 6. And then you multiply the denominators. So what you do is you multiply 3 and 5. And let's see what you get. Well, 10 times 6 is 60 and 3 times 5 is 15. So the answer that you get is 60 upon 15. Now, can you reduce it further? Can you simplify this further? Well, let's see. So if we divide 60 by 3, what do we get? Well, 60 divided by 3 is 20 and 15 divided by 3 is 5. So what you get is you get 20 upon 5. Well, I think this can still be reduced further. How about we divide both of them by 5? If you divide 20 by 5, what do you get? You get 4. And if you divide 5 by 5, you get 1. So actually what you get is 4 upon 1. And 4 upon 1 is nothing but 4. 
So when you multiply this fraction 10 upon 3 by 6 upon 5, what you get as answer is 4. All right, that's that about this lesson, multiplication of fractions. I hope you got what I taught. And I hope now you'll go and do some practice exercises because practice makes perfect. So for practice exercises, as usual, visit www.homecampus.com.sg. This is M signing off for now. Bye-bye.